Good morning, Snapchat. Let's face it, a lot of times we're just scared to death to walk into a business. How do you overcome that fear? So this morning, my plan is to share with you my very unique and even surprising approach to overcoming the fear of walking into a business. I truly believe the reason that most salespeople are nervous to walk into a business or to call a business is because of their own view of themselves and their occupation. Let me use an illustration to help you understand this point better. Imagine if you own a nonprofit and all you did all day was gave $10,000 grants to small business owners. Let's also imagine that everybody in your community recognized you as an expert in business and with that $10,000 grant came three consulting sessions that you would provide. Now you've really got to use your imagination and many of you haven't used your imagination since you were like seven years old. Really imagine this. You need to go out in the field now and give away these grants. So here's the question. How nervous are you now to walk into a business and let them know that they've been selected to receive a $10,000 grant as well as your expertise for three consulting sessions? So hopefully, uh, with this imagination, you've been able to eliminate your nervousness, but there's still one other thing we have to talk about that's really, really important. You're probably thinking, well, yeah, James, of course, but I'm not giving out $10,000 grants. <laughs> but are you providing value? It's very common for me to sell a merchant and save him seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 over the course of three years, which is how long a customer normally stays with a processor. So once you have established that you really are providing value to this person and you've really just selected them to receive this value, now we can move on to how you see salespeople. Salespeople are business owners. If you're a 1099 salesperson, you're a business owner. There is no reason for you to feel like, well, I'm the lowly salesperson and I just don't deserve to interrupt their day. No, you're a business owner just like they are. So how do I project that kind of confidence? Well, I use something called reverse psychology. It's really, really powerful, and I'm excited to give you this line today. When I walk into a business location for the first time, I really present myself as trying to figure out if they are a good fit for my program. I say things like, I have a really specific program. I know it would save you money, but to be honest, I really don't even know if your business would be a good fit for it, and I've got a couple questions for you. So again, going back to our earlier example, imagine walking in, you're going to do a $10,000 grant, but they have to pass a certain survey, they have to meet certain requirements, and you need to find out if they meet those requirements. So let's summarize it in one snap. You are providing value. You don't need to be nervous about it. Use reverse psychology. It works better. If you're out selling in the field and you have a question for me, want to get my advice on an objection, how to overcome it, how to do a rebuttal, go to Snapchat, look up CC Sales Pro, send me a Snapchat.